Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To combine several PDF documents together to create one larger PDF, select the Combine Files tool from the Create and Edit section of the Tool Center. The Combine Files view then appears. Notice that the main document window provides an Add Files button as well as basic instructions for its use. Underneath the Add Files button, the Add Open Files link lets you combine files that have already been opened in Acrobat. To combine two files into one PDF, click the Add Files button in the main document window. The Add Files dialog box then opens. Navigate to find the file or files you want to combine. If multiple files are located in the same folder, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard to select more than one file to add at one time. When you've made your selection, click the Open button. The dialog box closes and the file you selected appears as a thumbnail image in the main document window. Notice that the Add Files button in the main document window is no longer available. Above the main document window, you can see that the Combine Files view also provides a toolbar. You can click the Add Files button in the toolbar to add another file to be combined. When you click the Add Files button, a drop-down menu displays a list of options to choose from. If you choose the Add Files command, then the Add Files dialog box opens in the same way as you just saw. If you choose the Add Open Files command, the Open PDF Files dialog box opens and you can select from PDF files that are already opened in Acrobat. If you choose the Add Folders command, the Browse for Folder dialog box opens and you can select one or more entire folders to the files being combined. If you select the Add PDF from Scanner command, the Enhanced Scans screen appears and you can scan a paper document to combine with other files. If you choose the Add Web Page command, the Add Web Page dialog box opens and you can enter a URL or HTML file to be combined with other files. If you choose the Add from Clipboard command, no dialog box opens. Acrobat adds the last item copied to your computer clipboard into the contents to combine. If you select the Add Email command, the Add Email Informational dialog box tells you to drag and drop one or more emails from Outlook or Lotus Notes into the combined file thumbnail screen. Regardless of the drop-down command that you select, files are added to the Combined Files document window as thumbnail images. You can rearrange the order of files before performing the combine operation. To move a file, simply click and drag to move it to your desired location. As you drag the file, notice that a blue line appears between the other thumbnails indicating the location that the file will be placed when you release the mouse button. When you are clicking and dragging to rearrange thumbnails, be careful not to click the floating delete button that appears in the middle of the thumbnail image. You can also remove files that you decide not to include in the combine operation. To remove a file, simply click on its thumbnail and then click your keyboard's delete key. There is also a remove button that appears in the combine files toolbar and each thumbnail image also has its own delete button that appears when you hover over the thumbnail. The Options button in the Combine Files toolbar lets you control several aspects of the Combine operation. In the Options dialog box, the File Size buttons let you determine the general file size for the new PDF file. The Smaller File Size option is suitable for on-screen viewing, like on a computer or cell phone screen. The Default File Size option is suitable for reliably viewing and printing business documents. File size and quality are not adjusted when this option is selected. The larger file size is recommended for PDFs that will be printed. Although the file size is larger with this option, image quality is enhanced through the use of Adobe settings. You can also check the Save as PDF Portfolio checkbox if you want the new file to be a PDF portfolio rather than a single PDF. You can then check or uncheck the checkboxes in the Options dialog box to enable or disable each of those settings if desired. Then click the OK button to apply your selected options. When you're ready to create the combined PDF, click the Combine button in the Combine Files toolbar. Depending on the size and number of PDFs you are combining, a progress bar appears to show you where Acrobat is within the Combine operation. After the operation is finished, the new PDF is created and opened in Acrobat's main document window. You can then save the new Combined PDF file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free.